my first kind of my first texture pack I made a whole bunch just testing it out see what looks nice and then I just finished this I have no clue how long this took me and I will keep adding updates to it to perfect it right yeah as I said before I have a list of things I want to change um yeah let us sleep first don't look over there so yeah see as you can see from over there it's there's basically nothing really really different um, okay, first of all, pumpkins. There is no face on normal pumpkins like there was before because, yeah, this is also to make it look more realistic in a way. Um, for, oh yeah, first of all, I should mention, I got the idea from Ant Venom, I believe he, it was, um, to make the grass everything greener. I do like that. The, I do need to change, though. Oh, never mind, I don't. So, you have pumpkin, no, no side... Um, and then if you make it a jack-o'-lantern, you will see a face. Because that's what it is like in more re real life, kind of. Um, I am planning on changing it a bit to make it look kind of better-ish. Um, I don't, I could change the cacti top a bit, but nothing much at all. Um, this is a, p a melon. Um, more like real life again. Um, darker with lines. I am going to edit it the sides a bit and the top. But, you know... Um, new sapling. To, uh, cause I find this looks more like a real sap, a real tree sapling, at least in Canada it does. Um, just taller and not so, I don't know. I just changed that a bit and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, mossy and cobblestone. This kind of changes back to the old kind, but not really. Um, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know how to explain it. I do, I do like it m more, I think. Uh, it's quite something, like, it's quite large. Well, I don't know, sorry, the lines are quite thick, I think. Bricks, basically nothing really different about them. I just made it not so, uh, pixelated kind of-ish looking, if that makes sense. Wood, I changed a bit, as you can see. I, um, basically cleaned it, if you could say that, um, just so there's not tons of different colors in it. And so, yeah. Chess. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's saved or something, because it's not, I don't, I think I changed it a bit, but it's not totally how it was supposed to be. Torches, they have a little metal cage around them now, and I am going to change that probably, because I'm not totally in love with it, but yeah, see, I, I made this, I kept changing it, and I just don't feel like going back into the file until I've, I have a whole list of things I want to fix. Oops, lag there. Yeah, so I'm not going to change until I have a full list of things I want to change, because it's kind of a bit of work. Um, smooth stone, let me get rid of this. Oh, so this is not smooth stone, this is the... Stone bricks. I changed them a bit. Um, ladders, I changed, but you can't really tell. This netherrack, netherrack brick, I changed a bit. Netherrack, I changed a bit. Glowstone, I definitely changed. As you can see. Ah, lag. Why is there lag? There's like, this world can't- oh, jungle. Yeah, that's, that's probably why. Um, dispenser, we have, yeah. Basically, it's, sorry, um, my mom's saying something. Um, we have dispenser, and it was looking kind of weird, so I decided to make it look like that, just more dispenser-ish kind of looking. Um... Whatever this is called, piston. Um, basically, I didn't change much except the these lines here. I darkened a bit just to make it more line looking. Workbench. Um, I just cleaned it up a bit, like I did with the wood. Not so many dark colors on the edges. Glass. I got rid of some of those lines there. So yeah. So now it's not le more like glass without streaks. Go yellow goldy. You're freaking out about the door, aren't you? Okay, this, um, flower, I just changed a bit. The door, I'm not, <clears throat> I don't love it, love it, and I'm gonna fix it till it's perfect, but it's pretty good now. It's more of a cartoony kind of door, I don't know. I'm um, not sure if I like the normal door or this door better. Um, yeah, leave a comment to tell me what you think I should do to the door, because I should do something. It's not right. Um, bookshelves. There were books leaning, and I'd replace them with orange books to give it a bit, there's definitely more color in, uh, color, taller orange book here. 
and this little bookmark kind of thing right there. Redstone torches. I basically made this red on the outside a little transparent, but you can't really see it, so yeah. Cake. I had an extra layer of icing, frosting, because it didn't look like it tasted good. I need, need more icing. And I just added one cherry on the top instead of a whole bunch of freckles things. Um, these. I changed this stone a bit. Then I... Oh, lag. Seriously. Yeah, I think it might be the jungle. Either jungles don't normally cause lag. Um, so these are the hieroglyph thingies. I just added... Like, I made, I made everything darker here. I made all this stuff, not everything but the creeper face and the hieroglyphics. I made kind of more smoother, like all the same color-ish. And I just darkened the creeper face and the um, hieroglyphs. And then I think I added these hieroglyphs, I'm not sure. Then we have bedrock, and I just darkened it a bit. Took the lighter color and replaced it with dark. So yeah, I, I'm thinking I might change that a bit, I'm not sure. So yeah, let me go to redstone line um as if as if it's a wire that's pretty much it that's how it looks like looks i mean then these tracks i definitely did change because yeah and i put red here i took that red out and i put that color i really do like this better and then this is basically that but a darker color so yeah that's pretty much it for that now let's oh whenever i look at the jungle there's lag you look away from the jungle looking away okay so yeah so i will keep updating this as, as minecraft gets updated i will keep changing things till it gets perfect and please comment if you guys sh think what i think i should you guys think i should change or something oh i also changed obsidian a bit just thought i'd quickly let you know that um i just I don't know, I forget what I did. I think I took this background color and made like I don't know, I don't know. It looks pretty much the same now to me. But yeah, so and then, and of course there is a link to download this map. <clears throat> cool. And a link to download this texture pack. Yeah. That's why there that's why there was a grass block on top of it. Four. And these are the items that I changed the look of. Lava bucket, it's not overflowing anymore. Um, the water bucket is still overflowing and the milk is still overflowing, but I thought the lava bucket, no, that shouldn't really be overflowing, because, yeah, you'd burn your hand. Map, I just made an X with a little trail. Um, cake, I basically made it look like that over there, except I didn't add the extra layer of frosting because that, w that wouldn't look good. And bottle O enchanting, bottle of enchanting, um, I made it, the outline was yellow and brownish and I just made a glass bottle with that stuff inside and it turned out really well I really I don't know I didn't like it before and that is my texture pack um so comment for like the hundredth time <laughs> I've been saying this comment what you guys think I should change there's a link in the description for this texture pack and a link for this world so you can guys can check it out quickly um, and tell me what you th I think I should change, and subscribe for more, and a rating would be appreciated. Thank you. There is now moss growing on spawners, which I actually really like, um, because it kind of matches the stuff on the floor. And, you know, you're in a dungeon, there's moss all over the floor, and there's nothing on the spawner. So that is now the look of the spawner, and... I think that is it. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to download and put it in my texture bag into Minecraft. So um, you should go to the link down below. And it should bring you to Mediafire, and then you download it, and it sh the download box should pop up. And then um, you open it up, highlight everything, right click on it, and press oops, uh, right right click on it, press compress 14 items, and then. So once it's uncompressing, something called archive should pop up. No matter what texture pack it is or whatever you're doing, it'll just go to archive always. So you can rename it. Sorry, I'm talking a little fast. Um, you can rename it as bricks and loose or texture bricks and loose texture pack. What whatever you want, you can name it whatever you like. Whatever whatever you want. So just name or name it whatever you want. Um, and then move it on to your desktop. So then you can close that and close that. 
and then open finder again which was kind of unnecessary but then you press on your name on the side and okay it's kind of messed up here let me just close library so you press on library then you go to application support and yeah sorry, wait wait yeah so you go to the live let me start over okay so Melissa press on your name go to library application support then you scroll down to Minecraft some people have more stuff in that full application support than others but anyways you go down to Minecraft you, you um go into Minecraft yeah press on the texture pack no, open Minecraft, then you should see this texture pack folder. Move uh, my texture pack that you compressed into the texture pack folder on Minecraft, and then open Minecraft. If Minecraft was already open, I'm pretty sure it won't work. Like, it won't let you put it in, in, in I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, just make sure Minecraft is closed, and then you can open it again, and then load up Minecraft. dum dee dum dee dum Okay, and then you press on texture pack yeah okay so texture pack tech texture pack and you should see bricks on the loose if it is faded that means you did something wrong um if it's faded the most probable answer is um that you compress the whole folder instead of highlighting everything you need to highlight it on compress it so uh, one of the more mistakes that I made a whole bunch of times was I compressed the whole folder. No, you need to go into the folder and highlight everything and compress it. And thanks for watching. Subscribe.